Hey guys, it's Vineyard91, and I'm talking about Game of Thrones Telltale Games. Now, I know this game came out a while back, but just having recently completed it, I kind of wanted to talk about a slight rewrite. I won't be making too many changes, but I feel like this game, like a good number of Telltale Games, had such great potential but just fell flat in the end. Let me explain. Episode 1 and 2 would basically remain unchanged, except I would have Ethan live. Why? Because it just didn't make sense. It feels like they wanted Ramsay Snow to kill Ethan just to subvert expectations, kind of like what people say D&D did with Season 8. And you know how that turned out. In any case, the reason why I wouldn't have Ramsay Snow kill Ethan, because it wouldn't make sense that Ramsay Snow would just stab Ethan, other than to try to make Ramsay Snow look like a douche. Even in the show, Ramsey Snow didn't just go randomly stabbing people just because he didn't like them or whatnot. I could see him toying with Ethan. I could even see him like fake stabbing Ethan just to freak the family out. But I just don't see Ramsey Snow stabbing Ethan. Even if Ethan was kind of bold and rebellious towards him, I just don't see Ramsey Snow stabbing Ethan. So I would keep Ethan alive. And you would just pretty much not play as him much later on since Roderick appears. Now, other than that, episode one and two would pretty be much unchanged. But Episode 3 and 4, I would combine into one. Why? Because there were some pretty short episodes here, and I feel like they had six episodes, but they could easily combine certain episodes so that certain events happened faster. I'll explain why later on. But episode 3 and 4 basically combined. All the stuff that happened in episode 3 and 4 would all just happen in episode 3, which means that episode 4 would be basically everything that happened in episode 5, such as Mir seeing Tyrion, Asher getting the caged fighters, and even with Garrett heading to the North Grove with Sylvie and Cotter, would all happen in episode four. Episode four, I would also have Arthur not die because it just didn't make sense. If you bring Arthur with you to high point, it doesn't make sense that Ramsey was able to tie him on the post and flay him. You know how long it takes to flay a man? It just doesn't make any sense. So I, would, I wouldn't even have Ramsey Snow appear again. It feels like he would just appear just because they wanted to have the voice actor there again and whatnot. I would just have Ramsey Snow kind of send a raven saying, Last house standing win. Episode five would open up for me with Mira in jail and you'd have this whole scene with her and Lord Morgan and what would happen is he would still make the marriage proposal. Instead of just being able to either accept it or, or die, Tom would show up and he would attack Morgan. Now, Morgan wouldn't die, but they would either knock him out or just basically leave him in the cell while they escape. Tom would reveal that he found a way out of King's Landing and it would be bum 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 bum, the same ship that Varys and Tyrion escape on. She would meet Lord Tyrion again. He'd probably be a little bit more somber seeing as he just killed his father, but where were Tyrion and Varys heading? That's right, to Essos. And who's in Essos? Asher. Mira and Tom would go to Essos, where Mira would find Asher, and Asher would take her back. So now you have Mira and Asher together. You have Garrod finding the North Grove in episode 5, instead of episode 6. And you have the whole, basically, North Grove go down the same way, where at the end of the episode, Garrod is given that choice whether to go back to Ironrath or stay in the North Grove. And this will really affect what happens later on. And the episode still ends with the big decision between Roderick and Asher. Why? Because that was still a great decision. It was one of those decisions that just caught you off guard. And it was so well done. Episode 6 would, would still open up basically the same way how Asher or Roderick's version open up. And because I really like the difference between the whole Asher being able to marry Gwyn or Roderick just basically the battle starting, I would still keep that in there. But here's the, here's the big difference here. If you decided with Garrod to have the small army head to Ironrath, and you were able to secure an alliance with the Glenmores, when they're trying to ram the gate, if Garrod chose to have the North Grove army come to Ironrath, he would start attacking them when they were ramming the gate, which would kind of stop it. Then if you also secured the Glenmore Alliance, the Glenmores would also fight. So you'd have this massive battle and you'd have it from all perspectives of all your playable characters, basically. You have Garrod fighting outside the walls, maybe with the Glenmore army and with the North Grove army. You'd have Asher or Roderick fighting inside the walls and Mira would be fighting too, and maybe, maybe with a bow or something, I don't know. And you could even probably have Ethan's perspective in there somewhat. Now, if you chose this direction, you would win the battle and it would kind of end with like, rebuilding the Forester household. And since this would probably be around season five, episode like two or three, maybe you would have like a little hint at the end toward, you know, maybe Jon Snow being the Lord Commander. Maybe uh, Jon sends Garrett a letter or something. And it would be kind of a hint to what's coming in season two, which never happened. But, but if you chose to stay at the North Grove and you didn't secure the Glenmore Alliance, then you would lose the battle and it basically end the same way it did. 
and I think that would give the endings real perspective, showing how the decisions actually mattered in the end, where one ending has you winning the battle, the other ending has you losing the battle. So that's my short rewrite of Telltale's Game of Thrones. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys like the original better? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and God bless you all.